Happy Monday, everyone. Thanks again for checking in to Weatherbug. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson with a look at your National Coast to Coast forecast. And believe it or not, more snow is impacting the Northeast. Places like Boston expected to pick up more plowable snow through this early week time frame, kind of ending a midweek, which again is going to be pretty impressive. They need more places to put that snow as it has been a very snowy past couple of weeks. The West Coast is still kind of wet, especially the Pacific Northwest and pieces of energy from that system will be rolling across the international border with some snow and some active weather. This is a view right around sunrise in Connecticut. And again, you can see all the snow. Uh, starting to do a little snow removal out there, but it is going to be a snowy go of things from Pennsylvania to New York, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, the northern New England states, a strip of anywhere from maybe 12 to 18 inches of snow. So a number of winter weather headlines have been posted here and then taking you into our Tuesday things starting to fade a little bit out near Boston and the Cape. But look what happens. We get a very brief break late Tuesday and early Wednesday, and then some additional snow begins to roll in. So things staying very active in that particular part of the country. Meanwhile, as you head back to the northwest, still some pretty decent moisture for the coastal communities of Oregon and Washington. Some high elevation snow through the northern Rockies. And then here comes one of those impulses of energy through the upper Mississippi Valley in the northern tier of the nation. So over a five day period, again, mainly the northern tier of the nation picking up that moisture with uh, some of that in Minnesota, Wisconsin, the UP, Michigan, and of course into the northeast in terms of snowfall in that area. Could even see a little snow, of course, in the high elevations out near the Four Corners region. Temperature wise, the southwest, the warmest locations as readings here from Denver to Dallas and then back west to Phoenix will be into the 70s and 80s with that snowy weather in the Northeast.